Hey, hey guys, Kiersey Snyder here alongside Daniel Kump. We are ready to rock it out for Focus Friday on the 2nd of December. It is noon Eastern and we're about to go live inside of our TFT Facebook group. Now, if you're catching the replay on our playlist, please put replay in the comments below and then participate intentionally live intentionally present just as if you're hanging out with us in person i want you to give something so you can gain something okay let me do share to group all right streaming in now thanks for popping on you guys coming in hey hey guys again kiersey snyder here with daniel kump ready yo, to yo. rock it out for focus friday we have some really awesome stuff to go over so if you do not see the red light button in the corner please put hashtag replay in the comments below. And then, as I just said, for those on our playlist catching the replay, be intentionally present. Give something, gain something, right? You're in proximity on purpose. And now is your chance to really hone in on something to set you up for the weekend, okay? A couple things we're gonna go over, you're gonna wanna pay attention to. So make sure to say hi in the, in the comments, in the chat below if you're on our playlist as soon as you are here as soon as you're participating and Daniel, as usual, will you do the everyone's on, on, it. on it? What's up, Jason? What's up, Sean? How are you guys? How's it going? What's up, Tanya Marshall in the house. Love it. Good to see you. Good, good. Okay. A dozen of you guys on, make sure to say hi. If you're able to Don, good to have you. Jeannie, good to have you. Jeannie, by the way, if it's Jenny, let me know but I always want to read it Jeannie. That's how I feel it's spelled. But if I'm saying it wrong, let me know. Let's see. All right. Tag away. Deployed. Tag Good in. to go. Good. <laughs> if you guys are here, whether it's live or you catch the replay and it's because you got tagged, please put tag in the comments. Let us know. Okay. Let's see who else. Kim, what's up, my friend? Hugh, good to have you. Aubrey, good to have you. Phil, okay, good, Jeannie, that's good. Kelly, Tony, awesome. Sean, way to start off with the shout outs. Sean Murphy got a sale this morning. He woke up to a sale. You are right. Greatest Ain't feeling Ain't no in better the world. feeling than that. Heck yes. Love it. Love it. Yeah, speaking oh, of sales. So Speaking of sales, I mean, let's just dive right into some shout outs. So, I yes. mean, already this morning, guys, we've had seven team sales uh, this morning, seven team sales. Now, obviously, uh, Sean yeah. is one of them. I'm going to go through and kind of just see who else. Uh, Catherine, way to go. Catherine got a sale. I'll probably, I'm going to read some names more than once because what does that mean? Some of you guys are taking really good, uh, great action right now. So Catherine got a sale. Kiersey, you obviously got some sales coming in this morning. So congrats. Uh, way to go. Ari Ortiz got a sale this morning. Uh, let's see who else is in there. Randy Myers. Randy, I don't believe Randy. I've seen your name before, but love it. Uh, shout out to Randy. Way to go. I See, I love seeing some of these names. And uh, Randy is four levels away from me in the unit level. So that means that, you know, that's, a, that's some good old fashioned duplication going on right there. Uh, my wife's account got a uh, sale. So uh, wait, great job, babe. Way awesome. to go, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, there is Sean right there. Let's see who else is in here. I think this is, uh, oh, Catherine. Catherine has two sales this morning, including a titanium of sale, which she is does. absolutely freaking awesome in there. So guys, um, sales are pumping. Things are rocking and rolling right now. Yep. We've had some Really, really, really awesome and amazing uh, momentum over the last week. And there's yes. no, no, no better time than right now to be getting out there, sharing our funnels, getting out there, following. Guys, it's just as we look out into 2023, as we we go through this month in December, there's a, there's a handful of things that you should be focused on right now, right? Remember what we talked about? Uh, when we talked about like the power of one and we talked about like really just kind of staying hunkered down and focused on on some basic principles, right? So you got your goals. You guys should have some goals mapped out and laid out for 2023. You guys should have that stuff clearly, hopefully clearly defined at this point, because we talked about that a couple of weeks ago. So hopefully you should have yep. some goals for 2023 clearly defined at this point. If not, yep. you really want to start that process sooner than later. And the most important part is whatever your goal is, having a process that you can tie back to that goal, 
okay? A process that you can be doing every day that's going to help you get to that goal, whatever your big goal is for 2023, reverse engineer that back, step it all the way back by the month, step it back to today. Where are you at right now? What action can you take right now that will help you start to inch towards your goal, you. right? Now, some yep. of you guys are inching. Some of you guys are crawling. Some of you guys are leaping towards those goals, which is awesome to see. Mm -hmm. But that's it, guys. The month of December is just all about the fundamentals. As we go into 2023, it's just all about the basics, all about the fun fundamentals, good, solid, clearly defined goals, and getting out there and taking the action step, doing the action steps that's going to help you get towards your goals. So 100%. simple, simple and easy stuff here, guys. Simple, yeah. simple and easy stuff. But what do we know? You know, let's let's step back and look at the big picture. What do we know? What does the data, forget about my opinion, forget about Bill's mm -hmm. opinion, forget about Kirstie's opinion, right? I can tell you what I think, but what does the data tell us? What do the numbers tell us? The members here in our team, in our community that are doing the activities are seeing the result. That's what the data the tells end. us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Simple as that. The yep. members that are doing the activity, that are getting out there, putting out those short form pieces of content, the members that go through the fast start garden actually start, like how many different posts have we seen in our community? And I can't even recall all the names. How many different posts have we seen here in our community over the last couple of weeks? Hey, I just got started and I made a sale in my first 24 hours. Hey, I'm only two days into this and I already made my first sale. Hey, exactly. I'm a week in, a few days in, whatever it is, and I just made a sale. Those That's happening because All they're going the through time. the fast start guard and they're applying what they learn. Yep. That's Instead it. of just binging like Netflix. Yep. This is the biggest thing. And I know we say this all the time, but how many of us, and you know who you are, right? How many of us have gotten caught with just like retaining the info, retaining the info? Then you reach out to someone, myself, Daniel, your direct sponsor, you post in the Facebook group. I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. It's like, have you done something? Well, I've gone through the training. So it mm -hmm. doesn't matter if you've gone through the training. What matters is if you're applying the concepts of what you're learning inside of the training. Okay. So. The very fact that you guys are here is a huge deal. And even those on the replay, I know we have jobs. I know we have kids. Dan and I were going to, we were going to meet a few minutes early before this to go over things for launching to you guys, certain things. And I couldn't meet. Hello, mom life, right? We all are busy. We all have something going on. What's the the biggest thing to focus on is the consistent compounding. It's the consistent action towards you taking your goals because you know you're worth it. 37 of you guys live, put in the comments right now, I dare you. I know I'm worth it. When you truly adopt that belief system, you are going to act from the end result. You can more easily reverse engineer it back and say, cool, if I want to leave my job and make 5,000 a month by June, 2023, whatever, I need to have blah, blah, blah in my, I do this on the daily, no matter what. And then you do it, your belief and your behavior mush together. It's praxis, right? Just like I've said before, P-R-A-X-I-S, your belief fused with your behavior. So many people are getting results right now, whether you're brand new, you've been in since December last year, or say you've been in a couple months. So many people are getting results. Please adopt the belief system right now that you can too. You got to learn to take them, whoever as evidence that you can do the same rather than, oh my gosh, I don't have, oh my gosh, I'm jealous. Oh my heck, what's wrong with me? Nothing is wrong with you unless you think so. Mm -hmm. Unless you think that you have to wait because of blah, blah, blah reason. You'll have success after blah, blah, blah excuse. No, you could have that stuff now, but you gotta be taking the action steps and your belief has to back those action steps. It can't be BS. Like, oh, I'm just throwing mud at the wall. They said to do a short form video. No, people can smell that BS a mile away. You've got to be the confident person, not just the confidence of like, yay, I believe in myself and I'm great. No, I'm talking true authority positioning because you know what you have is what people desire. That's not BS. That's not something you can make up. Mm -hmm. 
You can't make it up. People can smell that BS a mile away. And you know what? That BS stinks. It is smelly. No one cares. You have to care so much about your success that you then are contagious energy for other people to desire the same. Okay. So a couple shout outs. Um, not necessarily sales. Well, one in particular, Kelly, Kelly Cagle ranked up mm-hmm. to consultant. Um, Don Vaness ranked up to consultant as well. Shout out to both of you ladies. Awesome job. Boom. Also want to give a couple shout outs to people who are here. As I saw you guys pop on Lynn wall. Great to have you. Diana. Good to have you. Terry Gallant. Good to have you. Pat. Awesome to see you. Craig Anderson, Amber. Let's see who else was it? Mark, Casey, Darla. Good to have you. Archie. Awesome to see you. Tanya, Bill, Martin, Isaac, Liz, you guys, you want to know why I shout you out? Let me just tell you right now, 42 of you go ahead and guess. Why do I shout out your name? Tell me what you think. Paula, good to see you. Because they're really cool people. Because they're really cool. Yes. <laughs> There's two underlying reasons for why I shout you out specifically. If I see your name pop up, Paula Lennox just hopped on live, whatever. Two reasons I shout you guys out. First, I care. Even if I don't know you directly, say we've never met in person, say we've never exchanged like certain messages, for example, I care. When a person feels cared about, they do more. And it's not for me to make more. It's for you to believe in you more. Because so many of you guys out there, this is my second reason. So many of you guys out there don't believe in yourself. And then all of a sudden, it appears like you're this overnight success. But maybe you're like a 29 overnight success, 29 years overnight success. Maybe you're a 42 years overnight success. And it's because someone else believed in you. And when you start to adopt your own belief based on someone else's belief in you, again, contagious energy. You then allow others to do the same. You all of a sudden are believing so much in yourself. You're like barfing that contagious energy for others to also adopt belief systems that are worthy, that are deserving, that means something. There's also another little, there's another little hidden nugget and jewel there. And I think this is out of, it may be in Think and Grow Rich, but I know this is out of, um, Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. When you yep. use someone's name, people love hearing their name. It's it's just it's just a natural psychology. It's, people love hearing their name. Yep. And when they do, they're going to pay much more attention. They're going to be much more in tune. They're going to be much more focused on the topic at hand if they hear their yep. name. It's the same exact thing. And this this ties directly into. The DM formula, by the way, a little nudge, yep, little wink. Totally. This ties directly <laughs> into the DM formula. Whether you're texting back to someone, let's say someone names Sandy reaches out to you and they say, Hey, I have a question on blah, or I saw your video, whatever. And you say, Hey, Sandy, thanks for reaching out to me. You can do this either in a voicemail or you could do this as you're typing. People love to hear their name. And when they do, you're going to have their attention, attention much mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. So just keep that in mind for a little nugget. Like one of the Mm -hmm. reasons why we shout people out and why we say names, you know, yeah, we care, but also take, please take what we're doing and adapt that into your own, into your own actions. Okay. Yes. Yep. And for those of you doing the DM formula, I swear on my life, if you are only messaging people and you have not voice messaged, why, uh, Cause you're worried you sound like a robot who cares mm-hmm. voice message them anyway, please, please. You have no idea how impactful it is to say, Hey, Sapphire, great to connect with you. How can I help you get started? How, how long did that take five seconds in a voice clip? You could type mm-hmm. that out. You're right. You could, you could even make sure to spell their name, right. And they care. But when you voice message, Hey, Morgan, Morgan's like, wow, she's not a robot. That means a lot to me. 
She's taking the time to message me. I had someone just the other day who started a couple months ago, hasn't done anything. He messaged the other day, text me directly and said, Hey, it's, you know, we'll call him Billy Bob. I haven't done anything with business because I just didn't believe in myself. And because you respond back, I want to do this. So thank mm -hmm. you for acknowledging me. All I did was follow up. Hey, did you catch Teachable Tuesday? But, I, but he hasn't been plugged in. And now he wants to be more plugged in because at first, like when he first enrolled, he told me flat out, I thought it was just a robot texting me back first, because I'm so fast. You guys know that I always reply back pretty quick. Uh, I can't help <laughs> it. Um, but I messaged back and he thought it was a robot because it was so quick. And because I used his name, it probably was like, hi, Daniel. Du, du, du. No, no, I truly do care about you. Take what we're doing what a lot of you guys are doing and adopt it. Every time we teach, it's not just about the how-to steps of like, here's how you post this and here's you know what you put. And that's great. But if you observe all the other things that we're doing, like calling out people's name, like saying hashtag replay in the comments when you catch this later, like all of those things are formulas. All of those things are for creating connection. And when someone feels connected, whether they're brand new or they're not, you have so much more impact as a leader. You have so much more impact. Even if you're a person who does not have sales yet, when you acknowledge and you appreciate it goes way further than you even think it really does. Okay. Cray, cray, cray you never sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am delayed sometimes. And usually it's about, I'll just tell you guys flat out. It's usually about, let's see, 250 mountain time to about 430 mountain time. All hell breaks loose. If I message you back, it's like crazy in the background because my kids getting them from school and all that crap. I might be delayed then, but I'll, I'll always message you back. You guys should and can be adopting that same belief. Hi, Elvis. Good to have you. You really should. It's all the little things that actually matter. It really is because mm -hmm. they add up to the big things, you guys. They really, yeah. really do. A thousand percent. And, and, you know, just on that note, like I, um, you know, with both of our, our, our YouTube content, you know, I have, um, I have my phone number right on, right on the screen. And I say to people like, text me with any questions, right? Mm -hmm. And anytime someone reaches out and they're like, Hey, it's Bill. Hey, it's Sue. Hey, it's, you know, whatever. And they use their name and they say, I have a question. I always, always, always respond back with their name, you know? Always. Oh, Hey, Sue. <laughs> hey, Bill, thanks for reaching out. And, mm -hmm. you know, and then obviously, and I will say like, again, just, you know, talking fundamentals and basics here, when you do use someone's name, your close rate's going to go up, you know, end of story, your, your close rate is going to go up based on the data and based on the fact that if you didn't use someone's name versus if you did use someone's name, your chance and percentage of closing that person, closing that sale is much, much higher. So, and I would even say, I don't know the actual percentage on this, but I don't think I'm far off. I think your close rate, close rate, you guys know what I mean by that to get a sale, to get a commission, to have more impact it probably goes up by like 25 to even 35% when you voice message. Mm -hmm. I can almost guarantee it. <laughs> and so you hurry use up a voice and sound like a robot. So the next time you don't, you know, and you use a voice message with their name, you know, you use a voice message with their name. Hey, Sue, thanks for reaching out. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Hey, to answer your question, X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. Uh, reach out and you know, whatever. And always end your voicemails with a question too. Like, when are you getting started? Or, you know, whatever that is, you know, be specific. How can with I help your you get started? Yep. yep. Gina, good to have you. It's awesome. Good to see you here. But plain and simple guys, you know, um, going to keep it short and sweet on this Focus Friday, my friends, we got a lot going on. And I got to tell you, we've been dropping hints for about a week now about something new that we're working on. And I'll just say this. The process has already started. Yes. We've already made some really good progress. I already have a demo available 
of this new little ditty that we're working on. No, you can't see it because we need to get it 100% fully up and running. As always, as everything we do before we get it out to you guys, we're going to test it. We're going to test it. We're going to test it. We're going to make sure that it's obviously working, fully functional. You know, integrations are all, you know, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Um, but yeah, man, all I can say is, oh, man, like, <laughs> yeah, like if if we didn't have enough awesomeness going on on the team already, sales pumping, <laughs> great funnels, great VSLs, great team, great, like so many things are awesome. If all of that wasn't good enough already. You just wait. I'm just saying, just, just wait till no you- No beta wait till testers. You, just, <laughs> Fill up just, the snow. <laughs> wait till you, you know what? I, I, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. As we as we get closer, um, we might reach out to some of you guys to say, hey, um, and, and pull Maybe. you into that fold. But- we're most likely going to be reserving this for our executives that are on our team. So if you want to, I volunteer you know, as tribute, <laughs> do whatever you got to do to, to hit executive, hit that executive level. You yeah. know, we, cause we have, you guys might not even know this, but you know, we have a separate group. We actually have a separate Facebook group, a se separate line of communication just for the executives on our team. And Coming out in, in another week, we're going to be doing another executive meeting like we did a month ago. We're going to be holding another executive meeting, talking about high level stuff. And believe it or not, we're going to be talking about this new thing that we're doing. And we may get some of them to do some beta testing and, and help us out. Um, but again, we're going to reserve that for the executives. And if you want in on that, you ought to go impact 10 people so that you have the executive rank. And you can also not only beta test if we decide to do that. But be there for next Thursday for our executive mastermind call. It's completely different, separate from Teachable Tuesday. It happens once a month right now. And we'd love to see you there. 42 of you guys live. Who wants to be and will be declaring it right now executive by next Thursday? You've got six days to make it happen. Plenty That's of less time. than two people a day who you get to impact into this business. They don't have to be titanium. They can be gold. They can be platinum. Whatever works best for them. You guys can do it. It is so simple. It is so simple to impact 10 people. It is. But are yep. you following the formulas or are you throwing mud at the wall hoping something sticks? You feel me? Mm -hmm. okay. So and Terry it, wants friends. it. Darla wants it. Jeannie wants it. Okay. What about the other 38 of you? Jason, see you there. Perfect. Kelly says she'll be there. Okay. Paula, love it. Marshall, love it. Yes, indeed. Linda, love it. Craig, let's go. Claiming it right now, Jamie. Love it. Okay. You guys go out, do the basics, pay attention to the small details because they are the big details. And by golly, and we'll end on this. If you are not registered for Teachable Tuesday yet, holy freaking heck. Mm. I already have laid out what we're doing. And let me just say, you're always in for a treat, but like, holy crap. You're <laughs> welcome. You're welcome in advance. <laughs> Go register. For I got, I got a quick question right before, now, before we wrap guys. up. Yeah. I got a quick question. And I, and I, I really, I want to clarify something too, that I talked about on Tuesday. Um, did you guys get value from Tuesday's teachable Tuesday? Has anyone already set up their credit card process. Has anyone set that up to go start earning points? Uh, just type in, uh, type in yes, credit, you know, cards, or I got, you know, I set up my credit cards or I applied for my credit or whatever it is. Uh, just comment. Like if you guys, I want to, I want to know who's actually done that. Now I do want to qualify. I clarify something too, because I said on that training about going to get a business credit card, right? You guys, you can do this without having an EIN. You can, do, you can do the same exact process without going to get an EIN, an employee identification number, and doing it as a business. You could just do two personal cards. You don't need the bit. I just do the business because I have a business. I have an EIN, but you don't need one. Um, you can literally just do this. Like I said, you could do two personal cards, one flight card, one hotel card. They could both be personal cards. Just put all your business stuff on one, all your home base, you know, all your home stuff, personal life on another uh, whatever, but it looks like a lot of you guys are, are doing that, which is absolutely awesome. So go check out that training. If you guys missed that teachable Tuesday replays.com 
Uh, it's just, you know, I've been doing it for years and it's just, you know, my wife and I are able to really, really reap the rewards. Matter of fact, when we, when we traveled, uh, you and Brogan, uh, tagged along in, uh, <laughs> when we were hanging out in the, in the lounge. Right. Mm -hmm. So yep. got to experience some of that. So plain and simple guys, like it, it's just a great way to really treat your business like a business and do things that give you ROI, do things that, that pay you back. But if you have any questions on any of that stuff, yep. uh, go catch teachable Tuesday replays.com. You guys can go see what we did, but make sure you guys are registered for next Next Teachable Tuesday, which is teachabletuesday.com. It's all stuff that's really easy to remember, but uh, we're just going to continue to, again, deliver massive, massive, massive value to you guys. So that's it. Deuces. Amen to that. <laughs> Out. <sighs> Out. Holy crap. She's crazy. Yep. Okay. So excited to have you guys on for Teachable Tuesday. We'll see you Monday for Mindset Monday. Yep, Philip, you got it. Read my mind. And go knock it out. You're deserving of success. You just got to act like it. You got to yep. act like it. You got to believe it. Basics. You can't just talk, you know? Go do hey. the basics. Awesome. Thank you guys for popping on. Enjoy your weekend. Go crush it. And we'll talk to you soon. Later. Bye, guys.